What's up? How you doing? What's up? No, don't show me. Don't show me. You know I gotta put that. You know I gotta leave that in there. <laughs> We're on a date. We're having a date, and I was driving. We weren't even gonna vlog, but I had something on my mind. I wanted to get off, and what better way to do it? That's what this vlog is for, to get something off your chest when something's bothering you. I was already kind of a little bit bothered about the uh, non-believers about my raffle I did yesterday. And they was thinking it was rigged and fixed, which it was that. not. But I ain't even going to address that. I ain't even going to address that. You know what I'm saying? But I will address this. You know what bothers me? You know what bothers me? When other Christians tell me how to be a Christian. Like if I'm just, you know what I'm saying, supposed to be Jesus Christ walking, you know what I'm saying? That It's not me. That's not what I'm claiming to be, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to better myself and show my followers and supporters how I bettered myself and li how my life began to change for the better once I started putting God first and started overcoming myself, which was my addictions and my desires and, you know what I'm saying, things I would struggle with. And when I overcame those things and I was putting God first, I started to see blessings. And it ain't all about the blessings. It ain't like I'm just coming to God like a gold digger just to see what God could do for me. It's not that. But when I did receive these blessings, I would share them with others and help others as I go. And I still do to this day. And those blessings get multiplied. And that's all I'm trying to tell my, my people that follow me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to tell them that if they can overcome themselves and put God first, things will start to change in their life. Because I'm, if it worked for me, I'm pretty sure it could work for you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking to the people in the church house because apparently y'all already got it figured out. So I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to the drug dealers, the strippers, the people that's still in the street, the people that's in jail right now watching this, the people in prison, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to them. I'm talking to the people that's really still struggling and people that's still at the bottom trying to find their way out. That's who I'm talking to, man. You know what I'm saying? Now today is August 1st. I challenge y'all. The beginning today, August 1st, there's 31 days in August. There's 31 chapters in the book of Proverbs. Read one chapter of proverbs every day starting today and then y'all let me know on august 31st when y'all get through them 31 chapters of proverbs they're not long chapters they won't take you all day to read it you could it can be done quickly you know what i'm saying y'all let me know on august 31st how them 31 chapters of proverbs hit you man long story short build a relationship with god and everything else will fall into place amen all right now that we got that out of the way let me tell you what we're gonna get into. Let's get into some fun stuff. Let's get into some positivity and some some fun, some fun stuff today. We dropped the kids off with my niece. Shout out to my niece Tiana at my mom's house. They're 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 watching. She's babysitting the kids. Well, baby Row in Houston. The rest of the kids can watch themselves, but they're all at my mom's house, chilling. While me and Kelly have a little lunchtime date so this morning we had already planned to do this today and it's it was raining you guys so i'm thinking that it's not gonna happen and we legit prayed like we legit both prayed. of us in the car holding hands pray pray god please clear this weather up for us and look at this look at this low-key the clouds were like so dark and ugly look huh, huh. look at that look at how beautiful it is now switch it up in like less than an hour yeah so we are heading to, um, I believe it's called Riva. You gotta believe it, man. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Faith can move mountains. You know what I'm saying? So we're heading to Riva Row Boathouse, um, which is in the woodlands. If y'all are uh, near Houston or in the surrounding areas, and y'all are looking to do any fun activities or you know dates or whatever, um, y'all should uh, look it up. We're gonna go power morning. So I know y'all are a little upset about the raffle, but congratulations. Hey, don't gamble. <laughs> Nobody tell you to gamble. Lucky in this spirit of his he got going right now. He's on fire right now. There was like no telling him to shut up or like not to act like that because somebody really count. tried to tell him about himself. Anyways, um, yeah, so congratulations to the winners. 
uh, the second place uh, winner, which is Brenda Nunez, actually called us yesterday um, after the vlog. Well, while she was, she wa was watching, she was the, watching vlog. the vlog and heard her name, and she like legit called and was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe it!" And it was not rigged. Bible, it was not rigged. I ain't got no reason to lie to y'all, and I ain't got no reason to lie. I told you I wasn't going to address this situation. <laughs> Why y'all be talking about this situation? Okay, guys, we're about to pull up. I need to go on my date. Let off some steam, man. We're about to pull up. You're supposed to turn right here. Look. Okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I think you can go that way. Yeah, go that way. All right. Okay, we're about to pull up. And once we do, y'all are going to come. All right, man. Reba Road Park and Boathouse. We have arrived. Super excited. I have a feeling like he's not gonna be able to stand up. I'm just don't wanna get my clothes wet. I brought you some swimming trunks. I don't know if there's a place to change. Yeah, right there. There's lockers and everything. How do you know? Cuz. You did your research? You. Yep. Try this one more time. Okay, we managed to change. In the car. Oh, shoot, it's all muddy. I'm excited. It feels great. It's like not a lot of sun. Well, the sun's not even out, but it's very humid and. It's not too hot, it ain't too cold. It's just right. Just what we prayed for, man. Just what we prayed for. Honestly, though, I'm excited. Let's get it going. Which one are we gonna get? The yellow one or the one? Are we getting our no, each our we're own? We're getting a board. Wait, hold on. We're not getting one of these? No, that's that's for like kayak. Oh we're babe, I'm not out. that? Yeah. You gotta stand up. I'm gonna fall off that thing. No, the whole point is to practice balance and work out. <laughs> I think I like this one. We're just trying to be laid back. The whole point is to get wet and like do the thing. No, I want to be able to see you stand up and do I don't want to stand up on that thing. I'm going to fall off. All right. And I got my phone and I got my phone and I don't want it to. Uh... Okay, as y'all can see, I got the one man canoe paddle. I was not trying to ride that thing. That thing looked dangerous. I want to be able to sit back and chill. You ready to stand up? The water feels great. Have you touched it? No. I'm not trying to fall in here. Go ahead. Stand up. Go ahead, Caddy Jean. You can do it. I'm scared. Bam. All right. Let's get out of here. All right. You ready? You ready to do this? I, can't believe I got the sit down car, man. That one over there looked a little too dangerous for me, man. I wasn't trying to fall and hurt myself. Ah! Just like her. You good? I got it. All right, let's get it. <laughs> I told you that thing looked too dangerous. <laughs> we, we ain't even got halfway down the little, look, we just barely left the little boat house and she done fell in the water all the way. Come on, Kelly Jean. Oh my God. That's why I didn't want that one. I already knew I was going to fall. Though. It felt great. Yeah, but I got my phone with me now. I'm chilling. I'm laid back in the Maybach. I got it done. I'm ready to just join the road team. You can tell I've never done this before, huh? Y'all, I'm wet. I just fell. <laughs> and I'm trying my best not to fall again. That felt great, though. This water, it looks dirty, but it's actually really fresh. All right, time to catch up. Come on, Kelly, catch up.
<laughs> this is fun though, I ain't gonna lie. I've never done this before. New experience, new experience. Look how beautiful this looks. Look at my view. No. You're like putting in work. Like you're showing up your muscles. I was like, I was like, let me get a little smooth shot of our view. And he's just putting in at work. <laughs> he's like, let me show off one time. It's like when I stop, I lose my reach. Mindfulness. All the greenery. We just wanted to show y'all little bits and pieces, little clips of our situation, of our little date. Um, but we're heading to the lake. So, um, see y'all in a little bit. Man, I just wanted to get on here real quick and share this view with y'all, man. Cause when I woke up this morning, it was dark and cloudy. And I did not expect to be sitting right here right now. But when you start your day off with prayer, the power of prayer is strong, man. When you start your day off with prayer, the events in your day that transpire begin to shift in God's favor. You begin to walk in the line with God. You're in walking in God's will, man. When you start your day off with prayer every day, keep God first. You know what I'm saying? Keep God first. You tired? I'm tired. I'm tired, man. Can I take a seat? I've been doing the whole time, man. In and out. In and out. Whew. It still ain't there. You want to see me knock her down? Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. We made it. All right, man, we just made it home. Got the kids, ate some water burger. We ready to chill, lay it down. I know I'm gonna be sore tomorrow from that paddle board. But before we get out of here, I gotta give some birthday shout outs. And the first birthday shout out goes to, Houston got a little bowling pin. He's been knocking on the ground. You got your bowling pins? No, it's radio. Yeah, so, uh. The first birthday shout out goes to S. Martinez turning the big 4-0 from the 361 Corpus Christi. Shout out to S. Martinez. Yeah. Angelina Chavez. Happy birthday, Angelina Chavez. Isaiah Bucanegra from Watsonville, California. Happy birthday. Turning 19. Happy birthday, Isaiah turning 19 years old from Watsonville, California. Alexis Alvarado, 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 Alexis Alvarado turning 28 years old. Happy birthday, Alexis. Chloe Luna and her brother Obi Luna turning six and four. Happy birthday to both of y'all. Jesus Juarez from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Happy birthday, Jesus. Happy birthday, Desiree Gomez. Happy birthday, Desiree. Tatiana Bueno from Corpus Christi turning 13 years old. Happy birthday, Tatiana. Frankie Flores turning eight years old. Happy birthday, Frankie. And last but not least, Gregorio Cortez. Happy birthday. Appreciate y'all for watching, man. Stay tuned, stay blessed, stay true. I'm out. Hold on, hold on, we got one more. Xavier from Bakersfield, California. Happy birthday, Xavier.